Okay, so I just wanted to make a quick video just to uh, show a little love uh, to uh, Clara here. Um, I don't know anything about these people. I think it might just be one girl from India that's doing all this, uh, which is pretty amazing that they have almost zero, uh, you know, social presence, just a couple of YouTube videos and a GitHub project. But... Uh, pretty amazing uh compared to open web ui you know having been around for a couple of years and and these guys or this girl being around for uh a little over a month it it's uh pretty uh it's pretty astounding how far they've gotten so um so what clara is is uh, uh i watched one of the videos from uh the, the person that that made this and uh, she says she doesn't want to be you know another open web UI and try to do the all the stuff that they're doing it's a uh, a little more focused on getting stuff done with local LLMs and agents and uh, so basically the things that I the thing I really appreciate uh, about it is um, Number one, there's an easy installer that works cross-platform, just a one-click installer that just works for uh, Windows, Mac, Linux. Um, uh, I, I'm doing this on Windows, but uh, the installer seems to work for uh, for everything. So uh, let's see. Do I want to do this? Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. We'll go ahead and update those containers. So uh, I'll just take you through it real quick, and I'm not going to do a big like demonstration of everything. Just you know, just give you an idea of what's there. The thing that I really appreciate, though, I'll, I'll click on the settings, and you've got local models, so you can run any local AI model on this. And in my particular case, uh, this computer, I, I was trying to find a way I could get more local AI uh, stuff going, but I just didn't have the thousands of dollars for an, an NVIDIA card. And so I bought an Intel A770 card that was about $350 US at the time. Um, and it has 16 gigs of RAM, which is kind of like, okay, you can do a lot of stuff with it. But what I found is that, you know, Intel is way behind because they don't have CUDA, which is all owned by NVIDIA. So a lot of stuff that you're trying to do, if you have an Intel card, just doesn't work. Uh, or you have to do a lot of crazy workarounds in order to make stuff work. So I, I found with Olama, I couldn't get the GPU to work. It works on CPU mostly. Um, but I was really excited when I found LM Studio um, and because LM Studio has a Vulkan runtime, which seems to work with uh, the Intel cards. And guess what? Clara comes with Vulkan runtime right out of the box. So um, I was kind of thinking, well, um, you know, I'm going to be able to... Uh, um, I'll, I'll, I'll try to use the Olama that, that is that they have uh, with Clara, but I didn't expect it to work. But with the Vulkan runtime, it, it works just as good as LM Studio. I don't even need LM Studio uh, with this, but uh, of course, I still have it. So, um, uh, but, you know, it's just really nice. And then Clara themselves, they have about six models that are very um, uh, versions of the, of, of uh, free models that are heavily quantized. So I can tell what they're trying to do is just let people with uh, smaller GPUs uh, that usually couldn't run stuff uh, to be able to actually participate in the local AI uh, uh, universe, you know, local LLMs, open source LLMs running only on your computer. So, um, uh, 
that and the fact that it's got an easy installer, that's something that uh, Open Web UI is still working on, and although they've been around for a long time. So, all right, just down and dirty, we're going to just take you through just a few things. So, you've got a uh, a few. Um, I don't know. You got a welcome screen. You got your settings. Like anything else. Um, okay, I don't want to go to the model manager right now. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Uh, I should have actually gotten stuff running before I uh, uh, opened this, but uh, <laughs> anyway, that's okay. So you've got a chat interface, which uh, usually when you've got uh, um, when you when you have uh, just a place for you to be able to chat with your local LLMs. Everybody needs that. Um, so um, uh, let's see. Now, I don't want to get into all this stuff yet. So, so you've got your chat. Then you've got a section of agents where they have a sort of N8N-like flow um, where you can take inputs and outputs and process uh, stuff from the agents. And it, it looks a little bit kind of like, uh, you know, Langflow or something like that. And if you have a local N8N installation on your, uh, on your computer, it might even work remotely. Um, it, N8N will show up down here too. So you actually have, uh, if I was running it, I would have another tab. And so you have... You, you can chat, you can, and then you can take the inputs and outputs of any of your agents, process them, and then uh, make them do stuff, send them stuff, um, and then y your whole N8N is kind of integrated into this so that you can uh, do a whole bunch of stuff. And they're, they have plans to take this image gen and integrate Comfy UI with it. So... Comfy UI has all these workflows of generating images and video and even audio. So between all three of those things, you know, you can generate, uh, you know, uh, you just got a tremendous flexibility of all kinds of workflows of different things you can do with AI all locally. And they're experimenting now with this uh, this Luma UI, which is a kind of, um, coding UI maker. So um, they're not trying to do a big fork of VS Code, but they're putting this in there so that you can uh, make, uh, you know, have UIs for your projects and stuff. So uh, considering they've been around like six weeks, the amount of stuff that they've got in here that works is just amazing. So... Um, I don't know if there's anything else I want to talk about too much. Oh, yeah, the other big thing. So you've also got MCP servers. So you can get, you've got all your flows, you've got all your MCP servers to talk to anything. Um, holy moly, you know. And then they're, they're getting all these, I haven't even gone through all these templates that they have for uh, all kinds of different, Holy moly! I haven't. They've changed it since I even uh, was was here just uh, a couple of days ago. So, yeah. So you want to take your N8 in, and you want to do workflow. You want to get stuff in and out of a a, a database. You want to scrape stuff. Uh, you know, get it in here, put it in your database, whatever. You want persistent memory. You've you've got all that stuff. <laughs> send it into Slack, out of Slack. I mean, it's just insane. So, um, and then they've got, I haven't even dealt into this, but like, okay, so you can make custom tools for yourself if that isn't uh, enough. And um, yeah, see if my N8N was uh, uh, working right now, um, it, it does something with Doctor Docker and detects your Docker. And uh, so, uh, Oh, and I wonder if I can just click on that and start my N8N. I don't know. I don't even know what this Python API does. It does something. <laughs> uh, okay. So, um, yeah. So, that's that's pretty much. I just wanted to make this video real quick because 
Um, you know, Open Web UI gets a lot of love, and uh, a lot of other open source projects get a lot of love. And uh, I think this is an MIT license, so it's very permissible. Anybody can take the code and do anything they want with it. And um, so there you go. Anyway, um, uh, that's just a down and dirty thing. I think it's. Uh, I know there's so many things coming out so fast with AI. Uh, when when I first heard about Clara, I was like, "Ugh, another thing! Do I how many of these things do I got to open now?" But you know, uh, I really like Open Web UI a lot. But um, I really like what they're doing with Clara. It's uh, it just made a lot of progress in a short period of time, and I really appreciate how. They've got the installation path for everything. They, they're using the Vulkan runtime so smaller computers can use it. A um, lot to love about these guys. So uh, anyway, just wanted to show them a little love and, uh, you know, put this video real quick on the interwebs and uh, see what happens. All right. See you soon.